All right, back in 1973, this is a snowmobile story. We were probably, you know, like 16 years old or so, and, and at that time, this guy, our neighbor, would let us use his snowmobile, and it was a Skidoo TNT, and he had already modified it to make it even go faster, but even after the modifications, it probably only went like 70 some miles an hour. But with those modifications, they were illegal because the expansion chambers were so loud that people didn't want to listen to that kind of noise going across the lake. So the guy that let us borrow it says, okay, you're on your own, you know, just don't burn your boot on the bottom of the expansion chambers and, and if you get stopped, you know, you're going to pay the fine. So we go riding across the lake and and it seems like at every lake there's always somebody that brings a 4x4 four four pickup truck out there and drops their plow and they make a, a trail and then ice skaters can skate and then they make a skating rink and my friend was driving the snowmobile and he blips the throttle and at that time they didn't have studs on the tracks, it was just a rubber track so the snowmobile starts to spin around in a donut, we're going around in circles and then all of a sudden you know, it was like slow motion, we kept on doing these donuts, and then we hit the bank of the snow where the snow plow stopped plowing, and when we hit it, it just tipped the snowmobile on its side, and we were kind of trapped underneath it, and by the time we got out from underneath it, we tipped it back, it kills. Just then, the snowmobile is coming up to us, and a flag pops up, <laughs> it was a cop. And they drove these old Evinrudes with uh, Wankel engines or rotary engine. They weren't too fast. And we're pulling the star, but it had been flooded. So I'm like pulling and pulling. I go, hold the throttle closed. I mean, open. So we're trying to clear it out. And all of a sudden, brim, 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 brim. She starts whining out just as the cops are getting on there. We hop on it. And we're trying to get going, but it's just patching on the ice. And we get fine on the snow. And the cops are right behind us. But... We walked away from them really quick, but there's a, a corner on the lake, like a peninsula, and by then we knew we were pretty far away from them. We had the guy, we even slowed down, and then the guy was you know, thinking he's gonna catch us, and he keeps on trailing behind. We lead him toward this other you know, spot where we knew there was like a, the bridge where the uh, lake drained out of, or it was a tributary coming into the lake, there's a tunnel, but you can only go through there when it's really cold and the lake is frozen. So he finally comes around the corner and he sees where we're going and then we you know, went under the tunnel and when you got under the tunnel you'd ride on the side of the bank of the river and there was all these cattails in the river and the ice never freezes good enough and we went around that, we got to the other side and the cop comes from underneath the tunnel and we're going, hey, like this, and all of a sudden the guy drops through the ice because the ice does, doesn't freeze strong enough around all the cattails. And we're like, see ya! And then we took off. And that was a chance of being you know, caught by the cops. We got away.